Greetings, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, M.P. Mgomezulu. Uh, I'll be taking you through e building science in two. And we are doing the centroids today, which is found on page 38. And the book that we are going to use is for M.A. Pens. Right. So we are going to do lesson two, part two. All right. <clears throat> Let's go straight to page 38, uh, exercise 5.5 E. So the calculation says calculate the position of the centroid from bottom up. All dimensions are in millimeters, as you can see. All right. Firstly, we need to establish how many uh, sections do we have here. So from what I, we can see, we've got one, which is a triangle, one, Two, which is another triangle which is facing upward and then three which is this big rectangle right so we've given we've been given a uh, millimeters right uh, let's go to our solutions for us to be able to calculate the centroid firstly we need to find the areas of each section so for area number one so let's go and see what is happening. It eh, triangle that is facing downwards. So the formula to calculate the triangle is half base times height. So it's half six, which is a base. Why is six? It's not indicated there, but if we come here, it says note base of triangles are six millimeters. That means they are talking about triangles, not the triangle. So how many triangles do we have? We have two, one, two. That means both base are six millimeters. Right, let's come here. Six millimeters is the base, and then we have got three as the height. So the height of here is three millimeters. Right, I think we have to note that there is a negative sign. So I want to explain why there is a negative sign there. So. For us to see that there is a triangle in a rectangle, we have to cut this section. Just imagine even if you have, you have a box and you, you want to see the triangle uh, in the surface of the box, you have to cut. Then once you cut, that means there is a negative. You remove this portion. That's why there is a negative sign there. So it becomes minus 9 millimeter square. I think that was clear. Let's go to area number 2. Area number 2 is this triangle is facing upward. Now, one thing that we must also note, the formula to calculate the area, regardless whether the triangle is facing downwards or upwards, the formula does not change. So we have also have base some side which is the base of 6 times 3, which is the height. The base is 6 and the height is 3. Then you get another minus 9 millimeter because I've also uh, explained that you need to remove this section. Then it becomes a, a hole in the form of a triangle. Right, it's minus 9. So for area number 3, Remember, area number three is the big rectangle, eight millimeter by 12. So it's gonna be base times height. Our base is eight times 12, eight times 12. So it gives us 96 millimeter square. All right, then we have to add the total area. We need to find out what is the total area. So the total area will be basically area one plus area 2 plus area 3. But because we have two negative uh, answers, it's easy to say 96, which is the biggest value, minus these two. The answer will be the same, even if you said area 1, area 2 plus area 3. The answer will be the same. So it will be, uh, the total will be 78. Right, we are done with the areas. So... Let's go and see now our y distances. We have y1. Let's go and see what is happening. y1 
right, we need to find a formula to calculate the y distance of this. Remember, this is not a square anymore. You can't say half. You can't just say a y over 2 here, like a square and a rectangle. But the formula to calculate a y for the triangle that is facing downward, let me repeat, for the triangle that is facing downward, the formula to calculate y is 2 all over 3 times height. 2 all over 3 times height. What is the height? It's 3. You must also note this one. There is a plus 1. y plus 1. Let's go back and see what is happening there. There is a distance that is missing. Remember they are saying we must build from this section. Going up. Going up. From bottom up. So we're going to say... For us to, to find this, this distance, we're going to say 12, which is the total distance. Minus 1, minus 3, minus 4, minus 3. So basically we have 4, 8, plus 3, it's 11. So it's 12 minus 11, which gives us 1. Definitely the, the total will be 12. Right. Because we are building now, for us to reach this triangle, we have to add this one. Where is this one I'm talking about? There. But our focus is not here. Our focus is not this distance. It's here. We are calculating the distance of the triangle, which is 2 all over 3, times height, which is 3. Then, because we are building, moving up, then we have to add this one. Right. Let's continue. I think it was clear. Here is 3 millimeters. The answer. Right. For Y2, now, you must note that the formula now to calculate the triangle because it's facing upward is no longer the same. The formula here is 1 all over 30 times height. 1 all over 30 times height. Height is 3. Height is 3. Plus this whole distance, which is 4 plus 3 plus 1. This 1 that is here, it gives you 8. Then plus 8. So, the total will be 9 millimeters. So, for Y3, it's simple because it's a right angle. Y3 will be Y3 divided by 2. 12 divided by 2, which is 6. Let's go and see. So, it's this whole distance divided by 2, which gives us 6. Right. Then, uh, let us proceed to our Y bar or our centroid. Now, to calculate the centroid, we say area 1, y1, plus area 2, y2, plus area 3, y3. This formula, I've also uh, explained in our first lesson, that is not limited. It depends how many sections we have, you have. You can have area 4, area 5, area 6, but all it will be divided by total, a, by total area. So in this instant, we only have three uh, sections. That's why it's area 1, area 2, and area 3. So, area 1, it's minus 9 times 3, which is area 1, y1. Let's go and double check. Area 1, minus 9 times 3, which is minus 9 times 3. Plus, area 2 will be minus 9 again times 9, which is y2. Let's go and check. Minus 9 times 9. It's correct. So, plus... In bracket, 96 is area 3. Y3 will be 6. Let's go and check. 96 there. Y3 there. So it's going to be like that. Then you divide by the total area, which is 78. Y is 78. There is a total area, 78. Right. Then you multiply this. You can notice that I've put in bracket so that you cannot mess up this calculation. So it's better if you put it in bracket and then you keep on adding after that. You keep on adding. So this will give you this, which is 27 minus 27. Then if you, 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 you add these two, it will give you minus 81 plus if you times this, 576 divided by 78. So the answer if you divide it gives you 6 millimeters. Right. What does that mean as we come toward the conclusion? Six millimeters is our Y bar. It means these three sections, one, two, and three, if you combine them and you are looking for 
the centroid of these three sections. It gives you six. That means six is from here. They said you must build here going up. That means six is somewhere because remember that this total height was 12. That means at the center, at the center of this rectangle, you have six, which is your y bar. As I've indicated here, it's your y bar. Then you can say y, and then you put another y. Then it brings us into an end. I think uh, the solution was clear. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Uh, I hope we will meet in our next lesson. Thank you.